What's going on everyone? It's RJ and Alex here from Backyard Sprouts and we are back. We're back and we're alive and in today's video we are gonna pretty much tell you guys what's been going on, all the updates we've been having during this crazy times that we have and that is pretty much all coming up next. All right, everyone, what's going on? So we all know that this has been a crazy past few months, all right? RJ and I, as you guys know, still both work full time and our jobs have been very busy. We've been putting in a lot of hours, which has kind of limited our ability to get together with some of the social distancing. We've had to abide by different rules, especially down here in the Carolinas that hit a little later. So we apologize for not making videos recently, but we're trying to quickly catch you guys up on what's been going on. So the first thing that we've actually been dealing with was we had a bit of a quality issue with the vegware containers that we show you guys. A bunch of them, we had probably two shipments come in pretty warped. Like mm -hmm. the containers were all damaged and the lids were bent in. So we just couldn't use them for our product. But luckily vegware is an awesome company. And just remember, we are not sponsored by them. We just like them. We yeah. appreciate them and what they do. But they quickly sent us a replacement, turned around, shipped it right away. No questions asked. So they dealt with that. But we had a close call there. We thought we were going to have to struggle to get some containers in on time. We got it through it. So that was the first thing we dealt with. The next one, which I'll let RJ talk about because he was the one who's really on board with playing with these <laughs> hydroponic mats. Yeah. So, you know, as, as a microgreen farmer it co almost goes hand in hand that we'll be dealing with soil right that's fine but you know Alex and I are really big on optimizing and being efficient and making things easier more mainstream and for those that are venturing or have ventured in this field you'll know that dealing with soil is pretty much a pain in the butt right so you have to purchase a soil it has to be organic soil and then when and you have to prep the trays as well and then afterwards you clean it and you throw it and um, Alex and I are looking actually into a company that will compost a lot of the soil mm -hmm. for us which is really cool because by the end of the year they give us I think like a pound of compost mm -hmm. back yeah. or something like that but nonetheless what I'm trying to get at is it's a it's an absolute pain to deal with then you got to clean it so we were just playing and really testing with some hydroponic stuff and so we bought some hydroponic mats from Amazon at first and they were really thin but they grew it just wasn't up to speed with the others if I went one-to-one -one, the others would grow in soil much much quicker than the hydroponic ones so and germination was a little slow worse, germination right? was yeah. definitely worse and slower they would germinate but not as much and when right. they would germinate they would germinate so slow so those are the ones we bought from Amazon then we got the ones from what was it True, True Leaf, Leaf. Yep. and they mm -hmm. had thicker ones they were called the jute mats and so we had some we were really excited about them because imagine if you just had to lay the jute mat down water it plant the seeds and then when you were done you just rip the jute mat off and place another one right without having to deal with the soil so on paper it seemed very efficient and super quick and would make planting and cleaning much easier and we were so down for that but after we played with the jute mats they still were a disappointment it's either mm. alex and i have to change a couple things maybe you know i'm very big on troubleshooting what's going on and if i were to guess the jute mats lack the nutrition that normally soil would provide right so either alex and i would have to mess with some water and it just doesn't take tap water we might have to put some i don't know something else in the water like giving it more nutrients some feed some feed yeah uh, very disappointing on the jute mats now if you look at other channels there are some people that are making hydroponic work so it's definitely something that alex and i have to mess with and play with more if we want to go down that route I, so i will say for the jute mats for true leaf i've had success with them but they definitely take like rj said two to three weeks longer than what our other micros were taking if I'm not adding nutrients to them. I did play with a few where I put the jute mat down and then a very thin layer of dirt and those did much better than just the jute mats. And I think, again, that goes back to RJ stating, I think the dirt had some extra nutrients that helped them germinate and grow a little stronger. So we're gonna keep playing with it and see, but we definitely are still using, you know, organic dirt as our main, I guess, ingredient for growing. Yep, our main medium. Yeah. Okay, so next update we have is pretty much all of our restaurants have come back online. We have three that are really running limited menus at this point, and they're, you know, obviously microgreens are kind of an extra added cost. They're not something that's necessary in most menus. They're kind of mostly garnishes. 
So with the restaurants that are really struggling right now, they're just limiting their extra costs and running limited menus. So they have not come back to us yet. We have had pretty much everyone else has returned to normal um, demand, right? So we are actually pretty consistent there and pretty happy with it. Our home delivery program has still been very strong and we really appreciate the support we've gotten from Farm Fresh Carolinas. They've been a fantastic partner throughout all of this, as well as some of the other restaurants that we supply to weekly. Yeah, yeah, we, we have definitely been trying to do our part to supporting them. Like one of them is Artisan's Palette. It's one of my favorites and one of our favorites. Mm -hmm. And we supply for them and they're they're really good partners, but we try to go there. My friends and I try to go there at least once a week and have some coffee, have some board games over there. So we're doing what we can in these crazy times to support each other. Mm -hmm. If you're in the entrepreneur world, always support local. Alex and I are really big on that, so yeah. yeah. So then we've also, along with that, been making a list of other restaurants who want to approach because as you guys know, even though economics have, it kind of has a roller coaster effect, right? So even though some people might be going out of business, other people are coming into business and starting new ventures. And we've seen a couple of really exciting opportunities around the Charlotte area. And we're very excited to start making a list of people we want to approach as the economy opens back up and is getting stronger here. Right, right. Even today when Alex and I just had brunch to deliver to artisans, we met someone who already wanted to network us out. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, I told Alex, I love this part of being an entrepreneur, right? When you get to network and meet people because I, I want to think by the end of the day, we're all here to really help each other and make mm -hmm. sure everyone is successful in this entrepreneur world slash avenue. So it was really neat to really bump into him while we were just having brunch. And, you know, we found out that he well, builds the bars, bars all yeah. around the Noda slash Charlotte area, which is super cool. So builds and designs, builds yeah. and designs. And so he recommended a restaurant and a couple others uh, to us to reach out to, which Alex and I will be doing in shortly, shortly here. Yeah. So we just want to say thank you also to all of you who have been reaching out and making comments and checking in on us. It is really exciting to hear one that we're helping you guys. As we've said before many times, we wanted this channel to be something that was a resource to people because we struggled so much when we were coming through our business journey to try to find information that was actually useful and not just you know, a push for someone to have you buy their course or to pay them for information. So we're very happy to hear that you guys are getting a lot of use out of it and please keep the questions coming. Yeah, no, I, I th that's probably one of my favorite things to, to get is emails and questions from you guys. And every single time I get one, I always almost immediately text Alex right after. I was like, did you see that, that question that they posted? And some, it's really cool because some questions are tailored definitely more towards Alex, which is like the pricing and stuff like that. And there's some that's tailored for um, technology. And there's, you guys have a lot of really good questions and we love getting them. So definitely keep them coming. And we will always be here to answer as much questions as we can. We always try to get to you guys in the comments, definitely within 24 hours. So definitely keep them coming. And again, we do apologize for being not as consistent, but we will, we, we are working to making yeah. that a little better for you guys. We want to definitely release content, at least a video a week, right? Once a week, giving you guys some, some good content. If you enjoyed that video and found it helpful, please hit that like and subscribe button. It encourages us to know that we're putting out content that you find helpful and are enjoying. It also helps the YouTube algorithm promote our videos so other entrepreneurs like you can find this content. Later, Sprouts.